What is up all you freaks and fright fanatics? RC Styles here with week two of the Mutant Football League 2022 season. We are using the Tokyo Terminators right here live on Friday Night Frights. We're live in Gehenna, Texas, at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach, Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL Game Day is on the air. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions, water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 40. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first... Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down in a lot, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That yeah, is still edible though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Third down and well, good luck. That's a four-yard gain. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the odds. Punt and put on the Jets and said, See ya! Great play by the punt returner. 
Turner. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second down and six. He runs it for three. Third and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, Looks like a pee for me, too. just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. He is rolling thunder and power, oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji. From Wilton Crabtree. Third and two. Looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football. Don't it, Grim? That's why they take it to the air and pick up a fourth down conversion. I thought they were crazy to go for it. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah! Great play by the defense results in an interception. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, uh, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. And that's the end of the second quarter.
Some of them will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I like this damn it happens to a lot of guys, man. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Get your motor running. It's true. <laughs> he breaks one and one saver there. Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. 
Gets the ball, asshole! If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. The defense saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on... It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. It's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. No huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Receiver has to make that catch. Now I put the team in a hole. Second down and ten. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move it. The quarterback just had enough and called a murder ball. Dirty tricks that lay waste to the defense. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, with a punishing hit. Second down and two. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Second down and two. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that is weird. So his cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. Two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. 
Go to Dirty Tricks and hit Attack Ref. It feels good. I don't even get out of Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Oh, man, he really... And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. First and ten. Oh, he was hitting mid hurl and fumbles the ball. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The Mellis Hellboys lose today's game. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 what?